Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here, and welcome to another polymer clay tutorial. In this one, I'll be teaching you how to sculpt a mouth for your figurines, for your dolls, for your aliens, for whatever you make that needs a mouth. This is a really cool trick that I like to use when I make mouths, and it's actually a lot faster and easier than you'd think, so stick around and let's get into it. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to sculpt the chin and the bottom lip as one piece, and then the upper lip and the area above the upper lip as a second separate piece. So this is actually going to work out a lot better than you think. All right, I sculpted off camera this nice little egg shape that I will be demonstrating this on for you. And that's about it. Normally you'd probably have the eyes in at least or something, but we're just gonna start with this egg, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt the chin and the bottom lip, like I said, as one piece. And I'm going to do this by taking some of my clay, balling it up here, and then I'm just going to shape it in my hands. And you can see I'm just pressing out the shape for the bottom lip. And basically we're just shaping it in the air like that. All right, now once you have your general shape down and the edges are thinner than the rest of it, you're going to add it to your face. Doing that here. And then I'm just gonna blend the edges into the jawline and the rest of the face until it's all smooth and looks perfect. I'm blending the chin in here. And then I'm just going to shape the bottom lip a little bit more to shape the chin so that it sticks out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my ball stylus here to just kind of increase that indent like that. And then just make sure everything is looking good. All right, so the bottom lip and the chin are already done, believe it or not. So next what we're gonna do, obviously not completely done, like you still have to detail it and everything, but we'll get there. Um, next we're gonna do the upper lip and the area above the upper lip with the cupid bow. And I'm going to do that, following up a piece of clay and then shaping out this little triangular shape. And then I'm doing this for a face that does not have a nose yet, but if your face does have a nose, you're obviously going to make the area above the upper lip shorter than if it didn't have a nose. You'll see what I mean, okay? So I'm just gonna start shaping this out here. And then I'm going to take my index finger and I'm going to push up on the right side at the bottom of my triangle. And I'm going to do that again on the other side to create each side of the lips. Then I'm going to pinch the edges a little bit, make it more lip shaped, and then smooth out all of the edges so that they're thinner and it's easier to blend once I attach this. All right, now once you got your basic upper lip shape done, you're halfway there. So we're just gonna take this and add it above the bottom lip, curving the bottom edges of it to line up correctly with the bottom lip. And then just go in here and further shape everything so that it looks exactly how we want it to. I'm just gonna go in here with my ball stylus and shape out that cupid's bow really nice. All right, and believe it or not, you're done. So all you really have to do from this point is just go in there and just add more details. I'm gonna go in and add a couple wrinkles and lines. There are both horizontal and vertical lines on people's lips, I promise. If you go up to anybody and look at their lips really close, you'll see. Or you could just Google it and not be a creep. But I'm just going in here, drawing some more lines, making it look really good. And uh, you don't have to follow this exactly, like it just depends on what kind of lips you're trying to create. Um, I'm trying to make pretty normal looking ones, but you can make them exaggerated, you can make them really thin, you can make old people lips, you can do really whatever you want using the same technique. So. I'm just doing the basic rundown so you have something to go off. And look at that, not bad. Oh, this lighting in here, there we go. 
Not too shabby for only a couple minutes. All right, and then like I said, just detail the crap out of this. Do whatever you want to make it yours, and you'll be good to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a quick one, but I feel like it'll help a lot of people because you either love making lips or you hate making lips, or maybe, I don't know, maybe there are some people that just kind of like making lips. I don't know. I'm one of the people that always hated making lips, but by doing it this way, like I said, it took me two seconds to do that. And it'll take you two seconds to just give it some practice, be patient, do it over, just make it work for you and your style of sculpting. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget the t-shirts, they are linked below. I do have a new one. If you want to check that one out, it says work hard, clay hard. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Ace of Clay, and I'll see you next time.